So today we explored uh, climate change and what it means as uh, a problem that causes a range of very complex emotions that oscillate between hope and despair, um, between uh, self-hatred and a sort of form of ecotopia where we imagine that actually this is our moment to challenge massive inequalities in the world and present a, a new 21st century, green century of the future. Uh, we looked at particular moments uh, that happened in our own lifetimes uh, to make us climate aware. So Mark, one of the speakers, was talking about research that shows that if you have, as a child, unstructured long-term play in natural environments before the age of 11, you're far more likely to be engaged environmentally in later years. So it isn't just about education in the, former sen in the formal sense. In fact, if we are educating people on climate change at third level, the problem has already happened and people aren't as embodied and emotionally conscious of it as they could have been uh, while growing up. We looked at the range of responses to climate change that organisations take and those range, that range can be a sort of grassroots response, this idea that consumers have to be the ones to choose and once consumers start being climate aware and choosing green options then businesses will respond. Um, this is a sort of grassroots activism that the market uh, hopes can happen. There are all sorts of forms of what's known as eco-modernism, so eco-modernism is the idea that there will be a technological new age, new technological age, where we can decouple our GDP from fossil fuel. And this is the great hope of ecological modernism. And we discussed whether that is actually ever going to be enough. Um, because there are a lot of people out there, I guess, that are promoting a, a new wave after ecological modernism, which is called degrowth which essentially means escaping or exiting the capitalist economies in which we live. And now there's a lot of politics around the degrowth movement. We talked about some of those politics. Um, we have to start thinking not just about the problem of climate change, but what we are going to do in order to address it. And the scale of those solutions won't happen in businesses, and they won't happen in government, and they won't happen in the ground. They have to happen in places that are free to think radically differently about what sort of society we can live in. And that's why the university um, is a place where those conversations and that frontier type of thinking can happen.